This video is brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Sign up now and get 25% off. Just click on the link in the description below. I want to talk to you about my son's academic awards evening at school. A few weeks ago, I said to my son, hey boy, are you looking forward to the academic awards evening tonight? And he said, no. And I said, why not? And he said, because it's only the clever kids that get anything and it's boring. And that made me realize that we have a serious problem with the message that we're putting out to our children about what it means to be smart, what it means to be successful, and their value to us as a society is related to how well they do academically. Many years ago, when I was in primary school, back in the, let's not talk about numbers, um, mathematics, I want to talk about mathematics, and it was brutal for me. I'll share a short story. Our teacher, bless her, I can't remember her name, when I was in about uh, grade, grade three, so that would be standard one, she would make us do math sums on the board in front of the class. And inevitably what would happen is we'd have a learner, let's call him or her learner A. And learner A would walk up proudly, getting chosen to do the math sum on the board. And on the opposite side of the chalkboard, there was another math sum. And I'd be sitting there saying, please don't pick me, please don't pick me, when the teacher says, any other volunteers. And inevitably, Adrian, little Adrian, eight, nine years old, how old are you in grade, one, grade three, standard, standard one, would be picked to go up on stage. And I'd get my chalk. And before my chalk has touched the chalkboard, I can hear the other learner, the smart learner, the clever learner, furiously ticking away on this chalkboard as if this is some kind of Hunger Games uh, challenge between the two of us. And they'd be done with their sum, inevitably it would be correct, and I've written nothing on the chalkboard whatsoever. And the teacher would say, well done, so-and-so. They've got the answer correct. And little Adrian, little eight, nine-year-old Adrian, would turn around very embarrassed and shuffle back to the to my to my desk hoping that nobody's looking at me um, because maybe i even had a tear in my eye from time to time i i can't remember it's traumatic for me the bottom line is that it's not that i was really bad at mathematics although some children really do struggle with it it was that i was slower than the other kids with doing math sums and that made me that left me feeling really stupid try telling an eight nine year old don't worry it's okay that you are slower in english afrikaans science mathematics whatever subject uh, than the other kids that doesn't mean that you are less valuable try telling a child that they're not going to believe you fast forward a few years and i'm now the ceo of a multi-million rand educational technology and publishing company now i'm not saying that to impress you but I'm saying to impress upon you that this notion that in order to be successful and in order to be valuable, you need to be smart at academics is completely wrong. Professor Richard Feynman, a quantum mechanics physicist, so in other words, a smart person, right, is quoted as saying the following. Now listen very carefully. Never confuse education with intelligence. You could have a PhD and still be an idiot. It's one of my favorite quotes. Um, and if you, this is the first time you're hearing it, perhaps you want to go home today and tell your child this quote because it might shift something in their mind. And I hope it shifts something in your mind too because that's where this all starts. Your child's uh, belief in themselves starts with you as a parent. And if you're a teacher watching this as well, you know full well that how children, how children think about themselves is related to the people they look up to. And certainly, whether it's primary school or high school, that's you as a teacher. They look up to you. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not against academics, not at all. I'm not against exams. Uh, exams, writing exams, it's, it's, a, it's a very efficient way to test thousands of learners in a space of 12 months and not in a hundred years has anyone come up with a better way to do it that's that's practical and cost efficient now i'm not saying you should tell your child hey it's fine to be lazy don't work hard that's perfectly acceptable that's not what i'm telling you but there has to be more we can do to make our children stop believing that in order to be intelligent smart or valuable to the world to us as parents they need to be good 
at school academics because that's just not true. So much of our future success as human beings is tied to what we believe about ourselves. Now, if I believed that I was a failure because I couldn't do primary school, high school mathematics, then I wouldn't be here where I am today. And let me be clear, you shouldn't define success by how much money you make or uh, what kind of car you drive. That's not what I'm saying, but that's another topic for another video for another day. The point is that once we consider all of this, it shows that us as parents, teachers, society in general, need to reconsider what smart really is and what we tell our children about that. So I'd really love for you to share your thoughts and comments, whether you're a parent, teacher, or maybe even a child. How can we reframe the message we're putting out to our children about what it means to be smart and what it means to add value to society? Because it's not all got to do with maths, science, geography, English, Afrikaans, isiklosa, and what have you.